So you want to install some Waves plugins into FL Studio, right? Good news is this video is going to show you exactly how to do that the right way and the fast way. Let's get into it. First thing you need to do is to download and install Wave Central. So we can just type in Wave Central and we will find Wave Central over here. So if you click over here, we'll be taken to the official Wave site where we'll see Wave Central and we can download it for Mac or Windows. Great. So we need to do download that. Then it will be an exe file, then install that. I've already done this, so we're not going to do that in this video, but it's very easy, very straightforward. You just follow the installer. Once you've done that you need to open wave central so let's do that second step and once you have waves central opened this is where you install the plugins that you've actually purchased so in my products would be the smartest place to be because then you'll see everything you have a license for if you haven't signed in then at the top right corner you should be able to sign in but before you even get into wave central it should pop up and give you an option to log in at this point all you need to do is select a plugin that isn't actually activated or installed, then click the install button. You'll have to close any DAWs and other stuff like that, but then it will install it on your computer and it will let you know when it's installed. Super easy, super straightforward. By the way, I have links to the five best Waves plugins that I suggest you use in the description down below. I highly suggest you check that out. But also, if you wanna get your vocals Spotify ready before you even get to the mixing stage, you can grab my Spotify ready vocal mixing secrets template. This will have your vocals sounding clean as soon as you open it up. And it also comes with a PDF that walks you through all the settings that I use for all the different plugins. So you can use any plugins that you wanna use. You don't have to use the same ones that I use. Just use that PDF and enter in the same settings. That means you can even use any DAW you want to use and you get all that in the PDF. So it's worth the price of admission by itself. Getting the template with it is just beautiful bonus loveliness. So let's get into FL Studio now. We're assuming that you have installed your plugin as I just showed you. At this point, you need to go to options, go to manage plugins, and this will give you the opportunity to actually make sure that your plugin appears in FL Studio. I do have an in-depth video that walks you through how to use this to add plugins to FL Studio. So be sure to watch that for understanding on how to add these plugin search paths and get rid of them and that sort of stuff. But for now, we're just going to add one of these Waves plugins, okay? So as you can see, we have a bunch of plugins here from Waves that we don't have in our top section. As you can see, everything has a star next to it. And down here, we do not have stars. The reason is when you put a star next to something, that is when it will actually appear in your plugin list. So if I bring my mix over here and we go to main chorus guitar and we try to add Abbey Road Chambers Stereo, oh, Abbey Road C, let's see if it's there. No, it's not, of course, as I told you, it would not be. So if we now add a star next to it, lo and behold, Abbey Road Chambers has popped out of nowhere. And we can click that and add it to our mixer. And if you're having any issues adding Waves plugins to your FL Studio mixer or adding VSTs to your channel rack, watch my videos on how to fix Waves errors. Those will walk you through a variety of different solutions that should help you get to the result that you want. So as you can see, this is taking its time, but when it loads, I'll be right back so that I can prove that everything works. So here we are up and running. Just to be clear, you need to click on the left-hand side, add this star to the plugin so that it appears in the plugin list. And once that's done, you can add it and it'll work out perfectly fine, usually. And if it doesn't, watch my videos on how to fix Waves errors. If you like this video, you should watch my video on the five best Waves plugins for mixing professional quality vocals next. I'll link it in the description down below and over there. So go and check that out. I'll see you in that next video. Peace out.